Guys, I've been watching this person for three and a half years now, <laughs> and I'm finally meeting him today. Ladies and gentlemen, making his return to YouTube for one video only, <laughs> Blacklight Attack. Hello. Hi. So, yeah, just one video. That's actually, funny enough, I will have uh, a new 60 Second Let's Play coming up. Uh, Kingdom which, Hearts. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts, which uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to anger a lot of your viewers right now. I hate Kingdom Hearts. I, I hate that fucking game. I'll fight you. I'm sorry, do you, do you curse in your vlogs? Does that matter? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Fuck Kingdom Hearts. That's, uh, no, I, I played it, uh, basically, uh, for why, why am I playing a game that I hate? Uh, well, I liked it when I was a kid, and then I did a charity event called Extra Life, uh, which I do every year. It's very important to me. It's, uh, we raise money, we play video games for 24 hours on live stream. Uh, to raise money for children's hospitals all over the country uh, and all over the world, I think, actually. So uh, I raised, I think, uh, just over $5,000 for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, and I had a whole bunch of stretch goals, uh, donation goals. One of them was I would bring back a series that I used to do on YouTube called 60 Second Let's Play for one episode. If we met a certain goal, we met that goal, and then I had my community vote on it. They voted Kingdom Hearts. Wasn't a great reliving a video game experience. It seemed like you were enjoying it for most of the stream until the end of the, the game. The end nearly killed me, like, in real life. What specifically about it? Uh, okay, so the, the story kind of came to a head, you know? The story all started to come together, and that's when it becomes blatantly apparent that the people who made that game no fucking idea what they're doing when it comes to making a story. That What is Kingdom Hearts? Why is it light? Why did Ansem think it was darkness? Who the fuck is Ansem? Now, I know that they have explained all of these things that I'm asking right now in other uh, other entries into the franchise, which they released on like 90 different other systems that you had to own in order to play these games. And all of them, uh, what order do you play them in? Because was, Yeah, they were out of order too when they released them. None of them make any sense. 358 over two days, Birth by Sleep. Like, like, who, who's coming up with these titles? It's like a random word generator. Wait, Birth by Sleep is the prequel to Kingdom Hearts, but it doesn't make a lot of sense if you haven't played Kingdom Hearts first because it makes references to it. <laughs> like, okay, I can at least get behind a prequel coming out after. Like, I mean, that's, that's what a prequel is, right? Like, that, that happens, and like, in some cases it works. But like, Square Enix has no fucking idea what they're doing. Like, they can't make a coherent story to save their lives. On top of that, Ansem is the worst boss fight ever. It's like 27 phases. They take away one of the most core gameplay mechanics you've had for the entire game, which is dodge rolling. That's all of a sudden just gone because you're flying around. It's just, it's terrible. It's a bad game. It's okay, you know what, I will say, it's charming, it's enjoyable, it pulls off all of the Disney Final Fantasy crossover goodness that you ever could have wanted, but then when, as soon as it tries to like stand on its own two feet on anything other than that gimmick, I, I, I probably shouldn't really be going into this into the detail I'm going, because that's not what your trip is about, and there are probably a lot of Final Fantasy fans in your audience, and I am so sorry to you guys, I'm not trying to tell you you're wrong, I'm telling you why I hate it, your opinion's your opinion, my opinion's my opinion, Love, love Kingdom Hearts if you love Kingdom Hearts. Hate Kingdom Hearts if you hate Kingdom Hearts. That's right, you're not a Square Enix hater because Final Fantasy VII is your favorite game. I have a Final Fantasy VII tattoo. Yeah. It's, you see it? You see it? That's how much, that's how much I love Final Fantasy. I love goofy RPGs. That shit is on my, my flesh forever. But I can't stand Kingdom Hearts. It's just, it's not good. So you're accurate with saying my fan base probably hates you because I did a Kingdom Hearts Let's Play. They loved it. I'm they getting ready it. to do Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, it's just, it's my opinion, and I'm sorry Hardy if you get a whole bunch of angry comments saying screw this guy because he doesn't like my game, but that's my opinion. I'm going to play Kingdom Hearts 2 though, because even though the story is going to go fucking ape shit, and I know it's going to go ape shit, I know the combat's a lot better. The combat is much better, so I'm going to play it later. I don't know if I'm going to stream it, I might just play it on my own and just hate myself, but we'll see. Oh, it's, more, it's so much more fun to hate yourself with people watching. That's true, yeah. You can play. Apparently my, my chat loved watching me just lose my... Because that was during a 24-hour stream, too. Which probably tainted the experience. I had been up for like 22 hours by the time I was completing the game. So, I, I wasn't having fun. I wasn't having fun. That's not fair to Kingdom Hearts, but... <laughs> Sorry, Kingdom Hearts. But that, that is actually one thing I'll be doing on YouTube. Uh, I think I have another thing I have to... I think I have to do a fan fiction reading. I believe my community voted on a Shrek and one of the guys oh, from Attack God. on Titan uh, fan fiction. And I can't do that on Twitch because it's against terms of service. So that's... I'm yeah, we got ripped out of our shirtless stream. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I did uh, did get... Uh, I do have to figure out something to replace the shirtless stream still. This is all coming. This, was, this happened in, like, November or October. So I'm like way behind on actually delivering on all these. We were this close to getting a full Pokemon Let's Play. 
we didn't make that grand. Yes, we? yeah, that was uh, actually if you remember something like two thousand dollars away, so it was still still oh. like a ways to go. But uh, that could have happened. A whole Pokemon Let's Play, which I would have hated to do. I don't know when I would ever have time to do that, but I would have done it anyway. We could have. Shame you didn't just like uh, upload your Omega Ruby Nuzlocke. Oh yeah. Get a cop out on that. That, that would have been a huge cop out. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> that would be scummy. That'd be scummy. Uh, but I did consider it for a second just now. <laughs> uh, I do have the dramatic reading. Uh, I feel like there's something else that I'm probably forgetting. I'll have to look at my uh, my donation list, my my stretch goals. But oh no, I did have another thing, but that's already done. I finished uh, Final. Th Let's play Final Fantasy VII uh, before. 2015. And you waited till like the last five days. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I had no time to do that. I have no idea how I found time to do that. I like didn't sleep for like a month. It just sucked. But I did it. I got it out. So anyway, we're in Twitch HQ by the way. That's that's where we, this is where I work. I should have been filming while we were going around. I forgot that. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, I mean, there could be like stuff on people's monitors that might you know you might, might not want to get that out. But Twitch HQ is the coolest thing ever. Probably gonna try to live here somehow. Just I'll live under his desk. You can tell him about all the things you saw. I saw. I forgot. I, I remember the lunch. They had this huge free buffet. It was awesome. Yeah, we did. We got catered uh, twice a day. And this is his awesome desk, which is right filthy, plushy by the way. on top. I love all the figurines. Like if I got a job here, I'd just have it covered in figurines. Let me tell you. Let me do a quick endorsement. This vanilla coffee uh, pressed juicery. Tastes like anus. Do not drink this. It's hard. Like you see how much I took out of this? It's disgusting. Well, I mean, I love maybe coffee. you're into that stuff. I don't know. That's, I mean, if that if you, if you eat ass, then <laughs> go for it. But I'm not into it. It's. I mean, and as a guy who eats ass, I eat ass. But that's too much ass. That's. I mean, my my stomach is full of butt right now. It's just not good. It's not a good look. It's a. Uh, I love coffee. I didn't realize he was gonna say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're live. Up. All right. Well, you guys want to see this about the scariest fucking thing you've ever seen in your life? Me without a hat. <laughs> Just kidding. I miss the fedora. I don't. I don't know who. Oh, actually, I do know who the fuck. Hold on. Is it moving? Yeah. The sort of. For, yeah, the mouth moves when I move. It's. This is the scariest mask. That I, this is supposed to be sold to children. It's barely moving. It sucks, honestly. Yeah. It's also probably made for faces a lot smaller than mine. But my friend said that. Honestly, looks like a freaking thing from Five Nights at Freddy's. Right? It really does. Somebody said that when I first got it. Uh, my, my friend John sent it to me because uh, he hates me, I think. <laughs> Raccoons are my thing, but that is just the scariest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. So uh, I got all my all my guys are falling over. These uh, fat, round guys. But. Everybody's highly encouraged to decorate their desks around here. So we got Snorlax over on that one. What do we have? Snorlax. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. oh yeah, yeah, Snorlax and uh, Cyndaquil over there. There's a Cyndaquil? Yep. Oh, I didn't see yeah, that on one. on the other side of the chair. Hmm. He's also got a bunch of Dota 2 figures. This is Tyler Tino's, as you guys might know him. Uh, well, oh, he's got an Ocarina, nice. You have a... Uh, I guess it's a uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask tattoo, the Song yes. of Storms. Yep, Song of Storms on my shoulder. So, which I was actually listening to a remix of that on the way over here nah, from nice. Smash Bros. But uh, that's Twitch HQ is awesome. I met Black Line Attack, so check that off the bucket list. And I guess that does it for our vlog today. Unless you have any closing remarks. Uh, watch Twitch. Feel free to watch YouTube too, but I mean. I, we're, I'm gonna be on Twitch, so you guys oh, see me there. And if you apply for a partnership and get denied, it's him crushing your dreams. <laughs> Sorry. I hope we can still be friends, but uh, if I had to say no, I had to say no. Sorry. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you.